Well, many agencies across the tri-state have been closed this week to ensure that the safety of their staff in the dangerous cold temperatures. One organization in Owensboro has been keeping their doors open for community meals despite the weather. Eyewitness News City Davis tells us how Feed a Friend is working to fill the gap. Because there's still people that are hungry. For the past week, icy weather and dangerous road conditions have forced several food pantries, organizations that help with financial hardship, and schools to close their doors. Officials say they align their decision to be open with that of the public schools, and those who depend on these resources are left searching for a hot meal. We feed anybody that's hungry. We have people that are from the shelter. We have seniors who, by the end of the day, are too tired to stand up to cook. Al Edge says this is true for him and his wife. He says six years of community meals have also helped save on groceries. I've got rheumatoid arthritis, and I end up cleaning up more than because I drop stuff. <laughs> Veach says they serve 100 meals every Wednesday and Friday, and he cooks all the food. If facilities closest to those in need are closed, sometimes they have to go without. It's because of the weather. We do have the people that are on foot, and it's too cold for them to come. But the director of Feed a Friend says he'll be here waiting if they do make it out. It will be seven years April uh, because the churches all merged together. I can only think of possibly two cancellations based on the weather, and that was because it was basically blizzard conditions. In Owensboro, Sydney Davis, Eyewitness News.